Well, we're getting ready for the uh, Adventure Rider Challenge. Uh, James Pratt from Adventure Rider Magazine and I will be heading out bright and early Saturday morning and uh, looking forward to this ride. We've got a um, better part of six days that we'll take, kind of winding our way out through the uh, old area of canyons of Utah and uh, whatever else we can find between here and there that sounds interesting. You know, the funny thing about these bikes, the motor doesn't shake, but um, things still tend to fall off and uh, in our bike prep. I like to go around and uh, use the uh, torques and tighten as many nuts and bolts as I can. I've found that the uh, luggage racks like to shake loose. A, uh, a T25, a T30, a T50, and a T55 are the most critical ones that, uh, that I've found to be used on the BMW. For everything from the fairing pieces to the uh, back wheel. Um, Lots of other tools that we're carrying for general repair. Of course, the basic things, tire tools, uh, small set of general wrenches and uh, tire patches, uh, a few little specialty tools like a uh, tool for the front axle. A uh, What size is that? That's a 19 by 24 by 22 uh, that helps to pull the front axle out. Also, in some cases, a spark plug socket, the hex on the spark plug socket inverted will work in that front axle. Uh, I actually had a rear wheel uh, start backing off a little bit uh, on a trip I took to Arkansas recently. I had tightened the rear wheel just with a, a short ratchet and didn't really bear down on it. Uh, made one of those assumptions, you know, you don't always have a torque wrench available and we all know what assumptions can do for us and it definitely made it an ass out of me. <laughs> But uh, anyway, um, first aid kit, uh, miscellaneous glues, uh, BMWs really like epoxies. Whenever you fall over, the valve covers tend to get holes in them, and uh, it's a quick way to stop things up and get you back on the road. Uh, rest of our gear, uh, rain gear, tents, sleeping bags, clothing, and all that uh, should be able to be packed either in or on these bags without much problem. Uh, you know, it's funny, we like to think we travel light, uh, there's nothing light about this gear. Uh, we're using what's called ultralight gear as far as our uh, sleeping bags and tents, but uh, it all mounts up. It ends up making, uh, making quite a little production. Uh, I've got my spot satellite tracker, uh, GPS technology up here. I just upgraded the service for the spot to um, the constant signal, which will allow me to send a signal out automatically every 10 minutes. Uh, that'll be marked on Google Maps and emailed to my wife. I think this is the modern equivalent to a cowbell. Um, also, I've got a basic iPod. I'm kind of low tech in that regard, but uh, at least it's uh, some music. Um, I get tired of listening to what goes on in my head. Uh, you know, James has got a uh, radar detector that uh, is available and I may use on this. Um, uh, I don't like to admit it, but sometimes I squeak a little above the speed limit. Uh, I've got our Garmin Zumo 550 GPS. Uh, I expect to get a little more familiar with that on the way out. I know some of you folks are uh, real adept at that and I wish one of you would volunteer to come over and give me a couple of days lessons on it. Bike's got 14,000 miles on it, uh, oil's changed, everything is ready to go, new tires. Um, James and I both have sent knobby tires out to California. Uh, they'll be at um, the Sierra Nevada Motorcycle Tour Company. Mark Girardi owns that company out there, and uh, he's going to be leading us after the Adventure Rider Challenge on a ride up the uh, Lost Coast uh, along the Pacific Coast area on some of the more obscure uh, back roads and trails that are supposed to be just phenomenal. I've seen pictures and uh, can't wait to see it in real life uh, and behind the eye of, uh, of uh, James's camera. So anyway, we're looking for, looking for a good ride out.